Good evening and welcome to our Lenten Reflection on this Wednesday the 23rd of March and tonight's reflection is led by John Morrison so thank you John. Glory to you O Christ you are the word of God I am the light of the world says the Lord anyone who follows me will have the light of life Glory to you, O Christ. You are the Word of God. Hear the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. The Law and the Prophets Do not think that I have come to abolish the Law or the Prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly, I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. This is the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel today is a very powerful passage. Jesus tells his disciples that his purpose is not to abolish the law, nor to criticize what the prophets proclaimed and taught. Jesus' intent is to embody the law, Jesus also emphasizes that keeping the, the commandments is essential. However, from the point of view of the Pharisees, Jesus is alleged to frequently disobey Jewish law. They criticize him for not following the law, at least as they believe it should be followed. And there were grounds for their criticism. He did not follow the law as the Pharisees thought it should be followed. The Pharisees lived by the letter of the law. Jesus, however, lived by a different law, a law of love. Jesus followed most of the Jewish laws and customs. However, when it came to people in need of love and compassion, Jesus lived by the law of God. Yes, all the commandments are important and necessary. For Jesus, the first two commandments are the foundation of the other eight commandments, love of God and love of neighbor. Love should come before all else. We can find ourselves becoming as legalistic as the Pharisees. We may observe another person doing something that we judge to be in error. Yet who are we to judge? We don't know why the person is doing what he or she is doing. It is not our place to judge. God alone is the one to judge. We don't like or appreciate it when others judge us. Yet at times we fall into judging, perhaps before we even know it. We can rein ourselves back from being judgmental if we want to. We could, and if we practice doing this often enough, we may find that we don't jump to judgment as automatically as we once did. Today we're invited to be aware of our thoughts and especially our judgments. We should pay close attention to our interaction with other people, especially those that we may not like very much or someone who simply gets on our nerves. We will never be perfect in keeping the commandments. After all, we are human beings and not God. Minute by minute, we can strive to love others more fully and without judgment. It is not at all easy, but this is all God asks of us. Thank you, John, for your words. And now for our hymn, Surely He Hath Borne Our Grief.
Thank you for joining us tonight and thank you to John for his wise words. Please do join us again tomorrow evening. In the meantime, keep well, good night and God bless. Bye for now. Bye.